approach this weekend with not knowing whether or not you may get a game on the schedule or it might be open at this point? Yeah, I think um, sometimes with outdoor sports, you kind of have to go with the flow and Mother Nature always wins in, in our case. And so um, we're just trying to be smart on the part of going across country, knowing what the weather forecast there is. Plus, you know, it definitely helps Oregon being able to host the tournament with less teams uh, and the weather in there. So i um, really excited to get back out and play Oregon again next year. We really want to get there. It's McKenna home state. It's a, uh, you know, a beautiful place to play. So we're definitely committed to getting out there. Um, we're just going to hope that we give ourselves a little bit more days to work in some schedules um, where this time we were trying to get four games in two days and it just has been too tough. So now we are where we are right now. Um, there's definitely some programs that have lost games. So we'll just kind of put it out there and see if we get some we great. If not, we get great practice and we just get after it again next week down at Gold Coast. Will it be kind of like some scrimmages this weekend if you guys can't add any games? <clears throat> yeah, it could look like that. Or I just got to wait and see. You know, if we pick up games early in the week, then maybe we get some off time. If we don't get games earlier in the week and then we go to maybe, um, like we were this time, six games in three days, then, you know, you, you just got to manage the load part of it. So it's just a little, like, wait and see right now. I know you like using this time of year to do a lot of different things yeah. and see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. With lo possibility of losing a weekend like this, how does that yeah. change that plan? Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you just got to tip your cap to Mother Nature. It is what it is. I, you know, I just I can't stress about it too much. It's really out of our control on that side. So um, just had a really good practice, excited about that. Um, embrace the fact that, you know, maybe we have a weekend to rest ourselves a little bit and then, you know, get after what we want to get after next weekend. So we've got great games ahead of us. We're hosting great teams here, um, you know, the weekend after that. We've got ACC starting, so there's a lot of really good things right in, you know, our, our front window here. So we're pretty excited about that. So just got to take care of tomorrow and see what we can do tomorrow and then just keep getting better. What was the players' reaction to finding out there's potentially no games this week, that you're at least not going to Oregon? Yeah. And what was McKenna's reaction, you know, yeah. not going to? McKenna said we could play in the sleet and snow. She said there's no problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's a, that's a really good Northwestern person to, to speak to that from the Northwest. But, um, yeah, you know, I think uh, for the fact that Christina Hartley's got family out there too, I have family out that way, you know, of course, you know, you, you feel for that part, but again, like the big picture is the program, what we need to do the program, and I don't want to in injure anyone at this point either, so um, it puts a lot of stress on that university to get tournaments going, like it's just, it was just the smart thing to do, and uh, she understood that, they understand that, so, um, but the commitment to going out there next year just helps that, it's not, we're not trying to get out of it and out of going there, <laughs> Right. Um, so Christina and McKenna both, like, you'll go see your families, we're just going to do it a, a year later, so, um, so yeah, they understood, the team understands. There you go.